Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101. Today I am on vacation and I'm going to be showing you some stuff that I bring with me when I go on vacation. We are actually in sunny Orlando, Florida, uh, taking some time, recharging the batteries. Uh, first uh, vacation for me and my wife this year because it's been super hectic, busy on the work site. So finally, uh, I'm going to time for some sunshine, relaxing, and now I'm going to kind of show you like I kind of do every year when I go on vacation, some things that I bring with me so you guys kind of have an idea. So we're going to do is we're going to start to the right. First thing we have here is my uh, waterproof uh, case for my phone. Um, this is one that I actually got from Royal Caribbean. It's pro it's one of my favorite ones. There's some My wife has another one she got from her mom that she loves, but love having a waterproof case, especially if you're spending some time at the pool. You need to check something, have, your, you know, have a good waterproof case was a good thing. Next, some tan lotion, especially being in Florida, I don't want to have some. Um, these are my pool glasses, but then I have my regular Oakleys for every day. My little pocket pouch that I have, but the main thing I have in there is a lighter. And you'll see for a little bit why I have that. But then I also have my macro flashlight that I use, which is a perfect flashlight to have, especially by the nightstand. So always having that. Then I have this uh, green little passport. I have some money in there, which is always good to have on hand, especially when traveling, because if you go somewhere and as long as they take cash, you're good to go. Next is my mission darkness bag and put my tablet in there. So when we're traveling, I'm not worrying about anything, which is a good thing to have. Um, as you saw, I show this also too. I have my bracelets that I wear in case, you know, if you have to break a window there and just some other 550 cords and the reason why for the lighter is for my cigars on vacation um, i brought four cigars these are my last two we got a few more days what i ended up doing was i checked this in the check bag because as we all know tsa would not like the cigar cutter right there then we have my knee brace which is right here i do have a compression that I wear on my right leg to help out from an injury that I got back in high school. This uh, knife was actually one I got from the box that I always keep uh, in my check bag. So, because, you know, like always going through TSA, they don't like that. Now I have some Gold Bond, uh, which is everyone's best friend. And then this is Arnica Gel, which is good for bruises. You know, if your feet are sore, or like what I have for my uh, calf or knee, Super something to have. My sister-in-law told us about this a long time ago. So thank you, Sarah, for that. And the last thing I have is my other Mission Darkness bag. So I can put my phone in while traveling. And just to kind of show you what I have in here is still carry a mask just to be safe because you never know. But then I also have one writing utility pen. But then I have my Clint Emerson pen. Now, I went through TSA uh, leaving Detroit Airport. They didn't even bat an eye or anything because they saw that with the pen. Knock on wood, when we do fly back from Florida, this won't be a problem. But if for some reason they said you can't have it, then they'll take it and I'll just order a new one. But knock on wood, hopefully we won't have any issues. But then have some spending money cash just to have. And then a notebook just in case you need to write anything down, addresses or anything like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clear this off. We're going to show you one new piece of gear that I got at Christmas that replaced an old backpack. All right, this is a new backpack that I got from Christmas from my brother and sister-in-law. And because my old backpack that I had, had some patches and stuff, as you see, I haven't put those patches on there just yet. I want to kind of see where I was going to like some stuff. As you can see, I do have a lot of pins on here. And some people say, oh, well, that's going to give you away if I see you and stuff. I can take the pins on, you know, on or off, but I like this backpack because it's a little bit bigger and I'm actually able to have a lot more stuff. So these are hooking uh, belt loops or, you know, the webbing. Which, so if you want to add more attachments, you can, but I'm trying to keep this super light. So this first pouch here, I'm going to open it up and we have my utility case here. I have my battery charger, which is really good. Band-aids to have in case if you have blisters while you're traveling. Some earbuds in case, you know, you're on an airplane, they don't want to give you anything. So it's good to have a uh, pen, but also have the little stylus here if you want to play games on a tablet or something. 
Um, this is a little multi-tool to have. Then extra chapstick. Then a roll of quarters. Um, if you haven't read any of Clint Emerson's books, especially The 100 Deadly Skills, he always says you can have the roll of quarters, grip it in your hands. So when you hit someone, you're going to have more might. And then at the very bottom, those are sort of the bits for the screwdriver and some safety pins for that. So these here, get them back in here. Then have some Lysol wipes to go, which is always good. And then some al more alcoholic wipes, just in case, and more gold bond powder just to have. And on the inside pouch here, we have a first aid kit of allergy meds, uh, heartburns, cough medicine, pills, Q-tips. So when I'm traveling, I at least have a small bit first aid kit, as people would ask. And then also some hand sanitizer wipes there for this pocket as we go. Then on the side pocket here, this should be empty. Oh, no, it's not. Um, here we have our magical scale for weighing the luggage because we're flying Delta and the max they want you to have is like 50, 55 pounds. So this is a great thing to have. It's, it's analog. So when you pull it, it will at least tell you. So we've had, me and wife have had this since... 2006 and had to worry about anything. And the great thing about it, it even has little measuring uh, tape on there. So if you really need it for something, so that's in that pocket. Then when we go to this pocket, this one should be empty or have some snacks in here, but this one, oh, hand sanitizer. This pocket right here is where I actually have my uh, carrying case for my Oakleys. So, which is good to have. Then we'll open up this main compartment here. So I have a little koozie in case you're by the pool, you want to have some pop or beer, kind of keep your food cold or your drink cold. And then I have some more hand sanitizer and some extra bottles if you're traveling, even though the airlines don't like you bringing your own. But you know, if not, you can might be able to sneak it away. And then these are some little energy packets. And with me being allergic, I have my EpiPen, which is a great thing to have. If you've never seen the newer ones, after you open it up, you pull this. So I have one. My wife carries one with me. So this is something we definitely have uh, to make sure. So if you do have any food allergies or seafood, whatever you might have, having something like this is a great thing to have. Then in here, we have more pockets that I haven't really, I didn't need to load up with. But pockets, you can just put more, maybe utilities or papers or whatever. I could probably put these in there. But there's uh, that great pocket. It could be more for admin or like you do your passport or anything like that. Now, on the outside here, before we get to the main compartment, headrest with a little gel is always a great thing to have. And then we have this little pocket up top here, which is a great thing to have. And here's my can other compression, compression sleeve for my calf because I brought two of them. And then I also have some more pins right in there. But once we open up the big bag here, plenty of room to have. This is where I can store my tablet. You have more room in here. You can load it up at the bottom. And then you have a little mesh pocket here that I have some napkins from traveling. But in this bag alone, I was able to bring Besides my carrying case, I was able to bring, you know, a whole week's worth of socks, um, a couple pairs of underwear just to change, just to have a pair of khakis, some shorts or some, some t-shirts, um, a few little uh, smaller toiletries like a toothbrush and my tablet and a few other uh, odds and ends in here, like my Mission Darkness bag stuff and I still have room to go, so I could have taken more stuff out of my check bag, but this backpack was able to do a lot um, on here for, and I love this new bag because I, I have more room in it than the other one. The other one was a little bit smaller. Um, I have taken this backpack to um, SeaWorld, Universal. When I went through their security, um, I have to say Universal is probably the most stringent, uh, you know, very strict about stuff. And every time I've gone through having the battery charger or any of my other stuff, they open it up. You know, I'm very polite, you know, with them. I know some people get all pissy about the whole thing, but not me. It's I try to be respectful. They have a job to do. 
they'll go through it and they'll look at it and be like, okay, good to go. So, um, so this backpack is great. So I can't wait to once our, you know, I'm not rushing the vacation, but once the vacation's done, figure out where I'm going to put my patches. And then my awesome sister-in-law who got me the backpack, who is also a fantastic sewer. Um, you know, see if she'll be able to help uh, put some of my uh, patches on there. And one more thing we're going to show you that I'm glad I brought this week because it's been a very rainy week are my shoes. So we're going to show you that real quick. All right. So these are my waterproof Stallman shoes. And also, like I said earlier, if you're in kind of a, an old school subscriber to me back in 2018, 2019, I had these and another pair that I still wear to these to this day. And these are my waterproof shoes. And I'm, and I looked at the radar and saw that we were going to get a decent amount of rain this week in Florida. I'm glad I've had these shoes. My wife had regular shoes and we're getting soaking wet and drying them. And she kind of made the point. I might have to look to see if they have some Solomon water shoes to go on vacation because hers, you know, kind of took a long time to dry. These I had no issues with. And so with me having these shoes from 2018, 2019 now, that's almost five years. So, and the only thing I've been adding to the shoes is just new insoles just to keep these shoes around, but they're still in great shape. Uh, the back is kind of wearing out on them, but that's not that big of a deal. So, but I love these shoes and, you know, having a good pair of water pair, waterproof shoes, especially if you're coming to Florida with it raining at any moment is a good thing to have. So now we're going to wrap this video up for you. All right, before we wrap this video up for you, there's actually two more things I forgot to show you is the first thing I had in my pocket is my green handkerchief. And like I've said before, Pat Mack talks about always having a green handkerchief. I actually bought this with three pack on Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks. I brought all three. And I'll tell you this, um, I had to use my first two because we were at one of the amusement parks at, for the Halloween, Haunted Halloween. It was raining so bad. My wife, we were both soaking wet, but I had this in my pocket. She was able to use my other ones to, to wipe off her glasses and it was kind of funny that I got a lot of compliments about having, having a handkerchief to wipe off my wife's glasses. And so big shout out to Pat Mack. If you ever watch this video, that's your idea. So thank you for, as you say in your channel, to have something like this because you can use this for anything of like I did for clearing my wife's glasses. And my wife's seat was wet using that to clean her seat. So all the props for Pat Mack for saying, having the handkerchief and as pat mack always says basic dude stuff so kudos and thank you to pat and the last thing i had which was a great thing that we actually did and we weren't sure but i said let's do it is having a tsa lock with you with key now this is the key my wife has and i have the backup one and my backpack well my wife's luggage she has does not have a lock on her because she's had it for a super long time and i told her let's just lock your suitcase up before we left our house just to be safe. Well, when we got to the airport, they said that you, they, they needed 25 people to check in. And we were one of the ones that we had to both check our bags. Well, my wife was pretty lucky that we had this little lock, the TSA lock. So we locked her bag and we both felt good that we, that we had this lock because if not, anyone could have got into her bag. So note to self, if you're going to be traveling or flying, get the TSA approved locks just so that, you know, if they have to get in it, they can. I mean, if not, if you don't have one, they'll just cut the locks. But having this kind of lock helped for my wife because the luggage, her carry-on, does not have the lock, which, which my suitcase has. So having this lock is definitely a good thing that kind of saved us in a way. All right, this is going to wrap this video up for you. Hopefully, you guys appreciate um, seeing what I bring on vacation and what I will do in the description I will put a link of some of my prior videos that I've gone on vacation. So you can see some things that I've added, some things I've taken out over the years. And it really depends on where I'm going. Um, but please, you know, keep in mind if you are traveling, stuff like the knife or the cigar cutter, stuff like that you want to have in your check bag because TSA will not like that. But like the Mission Darkness stuff is a great thing to have to kind of keep your phone secure while traveling. Um you know, check out their website, um, the sunglasses, everything I have is stuff that I use while I'm on vacation. And even with the handkerchief, something to help, you know, someone out with clearing their glasses or cleaning their seat. 
all the stuff that I have, I've used um, at one point or another on vacation and it works great. And that's what the great thing is, is when you go on vacation, you have a, a like a backpack like this, you're able to constantly change what you want to do. And just the same thing with having the little Ziploc bag full of some, um, some whiskeys and some bourbon. It's great to have because maybe if you land real late and it was a rough flight and you really want to drink, you have those with you. You just grab a glass from the hotel, get some ice or drink it neat. You know, it'll at least help you. And that's why I always carry those with me. And I had a, uh, a neighbor who was going on vacation. He just kept saying he was going to buy stuff once he landed. And I said, no. And he kept telling me that. So I took it upon myself because I have a, we have fantastic neighbors. I went, bought him some uh, Jack Daniels he liked of the smaller bottles. And I gave it to him. I said, you're going to need this. Just trust me. Well, knock, you know, and what happened bad was they landed late, took forever to get a car run until he couldn't get it. And it was two in the morning. He wanted to drink so bad, didn't pack anything. And then he remembered, I gave him the smaller bottles of Jack Daniels and some Crown Royal. He loved it. And he wrote me the next day. He goes, thank you for buying me these minis. I will always make sure I have them with me because of how long he had to wait. It. So, you know, it was a good thing to help with the neighbor and something, you know, that if you are a whiskey drinker or if it's tequila or rum, have some with you just in case if you get in super late, you might want to have it after a rough day of flying or you're just tired. So that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you guys like anything. Please write in the comments below what you guys like about it or if you maybe think there's something you think I should add or maybe something you've added to your vacation bag. We'll love to hear about that. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And we'll catch you guys down the road.